Hi, my name is Jax and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking uh, these few minutes to, to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. If you could like the video and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. If you do have any questions about what I'm covering in this video today, please leave them in the comments be below and uh, yeah, you know, if there's anything that you'd like to know, please feel free to, to chat with me. Okay, in, this, in today's video, we are going to be looking at this little thing. Now, what is this exactly? This is an M.2 NVMe PCI 4-lane adapter with an RGB heatsink. Very nice, very nice looking thing. Really cool. I haven't opened this up as yet, but I'll do that in a, in a moment. So what is this for last week i bought a ssd brand new ssd very nice uh, after i purchased it i opened up my desktop machine and i was getting ready to install it and then i went looking for the m.2 screw package And I thought, you know, let's see, there must be a solution. There has to be a solution. Then there were quite a few solutions. I could get an external in enclosure. Uh, that would be either uh, USB-C or Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a little bit, just a little too expensive for me. And I thought, you know, I really spent so much on this card. There's no way that I'm going to be spending a thousand or two thousand rand on, a, on an external enclosure. And... Uh, the Thunderbolt stuff isn't in South Africa, so I would have to import it from the US or somewhere. And that was, it just didn't make any sense to me. And then I thought, okay, fine, maybe I should look and see what the, what the screws cost. I had a look at that and the screws are quite cheap. The courier costs, however, would bring me very close to the cost of this, this little device. So I thought there's no way I'm going to be paying three, 300 bucks for a set of screws. I mean, I just need one screw. I just need one screw. One screw and one little thing that goes into the board. One, the screw that goes on top there, you plug this thing, you know, the, yeah, it all fits. Just one, that's all I need, just one. I'm, you know, it's all I, it's all, I just, just one, it's all I need. But, so I said, no ways, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Cause I mean, every time you buy a motherboard, they come with the M2 screws. So it possibly could be a waste. Possibly. So I figured, nah, that's, that's not going to work. So what are my other options? And the other options, one of them was this. Now, if you get a, a PCI Express adapter or M.2 adapter, a PCI Express M.2 adapter, if you get that, then you can plug, this is what they say, you can plug the, the, the drive onto this card and then you plug the card into the PCI Express ports and you're good to go. Now this card, this is my very first PCI Express 4.0 device that I've ever owned. So yeah, I'm not gonna get the full benefit of this, but my motherboard does support PCI Express 3.0. I don't have one of the new motherboards that has the Z590 chipsets and I also don't have one of those uh, 11th gen processors just yet because those haven't haven't hit the streets in South Africa yet. So PCI Express 3.0 it is for me then. I've had a look at some reviews about these devices and how they work and apparently they do perform slightly better than plugging the SSD directly into the M2 slot on the motherboard. So I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how, how that's gonna work. Something that, you know, when I, when I got this and I started doing a little bit more research about the heat and all of that kind of thing, I realized that I might actually need a heat sink, which is why I went with this particular one, which has a heat sink as well. So in a moment we'll be unboxing this and I'll give you a I'll give you a look around to see what is in there and we'll also just assemble assemble this thing because it 
comes in in several pieces and then in a in my in another episode in my following video uh, we will then install these two things into the onto my motherboard directly and then i'll see how that works so without any further ado let's uh, change the camera angle and let's see what is in the box okay let us see what is all right let us see what's in the box okay this is actually my very first unboxing all right so let us see what is in here so first and foremost we have the heatsink and this would be the circuit all right so then this is the circuit board and the m.2 ah. Let me just get this thing to focus. So the M.2 drive fits in to that socket over there. All right, what else do we have in here? All right, then that I take it is the cable. For the RGB connector, yeah. Sorry, my camera does not have autofocus. Well, the autofocus is really, really bad. And as you can see, it has three little pins. And those pins go into the motherboard so let's put that aside so there's that cable then we have uh, There we go. We have this little guy here. This is a half height uh, connector, and this is for. I won't be using this because my motherboard or my case needs a full height connector. So this year if i can just bring this into focus nothing really special about this this is like a blank plate so this connects to that like so and then your ssd goes in there there's not really much in here and then this is the screws and a little screwdriver that you will need as you can see and then the last thing in the box this is what you put on you connect this you put this onto the drive and then the drive goes in over here the ssd drive goes in there let me show you so the drive would go in like that
just click it in and let me see if I can get this closer yeah so the screw goes in over there that would hold it down and then on top of here those are the LEDs so yeah that's what it looks like when it's all done okay so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for for watching uh, if you have enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up and a like and uh, please do consider uh, sh subscribing to this channel thank you so much guys i'll catch you in the next one in the next one we will be installing this onto the yeah into the onto my motherboard and making sure that everything works thanks so much for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one cheers